Uh, what is this woman thinking? Let's see. Mine is... Oh, I see mine over there. Let me just go grab it, okay? units have plenty more nifty features. But I wouldn't want to bombard you with too much info all at once, so we'll cover those another time. Anyway, since you've got your Arcus all set up and ready to go, here's what I want you to do. When you step through that door, you'll be in an underground testing area. Basically, it's a dungeon. It's pretty large and full of twists and turns. I'd almost guarantee you'll get lost at least once. But when you find the exit, you'll be able to return to the first floor of this old schoolhouse. There are monsters wandering around, though, so don't let your guard down even for a moment. With all that said, let's commence our special orienteering exercise. Your objective is to make your way through this area and back to the surface. Make it back in one piece, and I'll be happy to field any complaints you might have. If you make it back safely, I might even give you a kiss. Free of charge. On the cheek, of course. Uh, um... I don't think she's joking. And just where do you think you're going? Were you planning to wander off on your own without saying anything? I have no interest in becoming friends with anyone here. And I'm surprised that you, of all people, give a damn what I do. Unless you've suddenly decided you do want to keep company with one of those stuck-up hedonists after all. Still, if you're afraid of the monsters, I suppose I could accompany you. After all, what kind of Erebonian noble would I be if I didn't have at least some degree of prowess with the sword? And noblesse oblige dictates that it's my sacred duty to protect powerless commoners such as yourself. What, what the hell? Nobody's asking your High Excellency to deign to help us! If that's how you're gonna be, I'll just find my way out of here before you! I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without some relic of an outdated class system dragging me down.
should we do? The only thing we can do. We should begin exploring these ruins ourselves. I believe it would be prudent to remain in small groups, however. Would the two of you have any objections to accompanying me? No, that's fine. It would be a huge help, actually. And you're welcome to join us as... Well... I suppose that's a no. Perhaps we'll run into her along the way, and she can join us then. So, shall we be off? I'm certain you gentlemen will be fine, but do take care. Okay. If you'll excuse us, please. Huh. <laughs> Not such a hot first impression there, huh? You can say that again. I'll have to clear things up with her later. Anyway, how do you guys want to do this? Should the three of us stick together too? Sounds good to me. I'd get pretty anxious wandering around a place like this alone. No objections here. I'd be happy to accompany you. I don't believe I've introduced myself yet. My name is Gaius Warzel. I just arrived in the Empire, so any help you can offer would be much appreciated. Oh, so you're from abroad. I'd been wondering. My name's Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. I'm Elliot Craig. So, you fight with that? Of course. Why else would I be carrying it? It's a spear, but it has that odd cross-shaped head. It looks kind of... awesome. Think of it as combining the best parts of a spear and a pole axe. I was pretty handy with it back home. But speaking of weapons, I have to say, yours looks pretty unique. Oh, this thing. Is it... a staff? Wait, no. It's an ornament, isn't it? Both, actually. It's an orbal staff. The tech is pretty recent. This one's still a prototype, more or less. Back during enrollment, they told me I had some aptitude for it. So when it came time to choose, I just sort of ran with it. Interesting. I've never seen anything like it before. Can't say I have either. They're still in development, apparently, so there aren't too many around just yet. But that said, I'm curious about what you've got there, Reen. Oh, my sword? Yeah, but what kind of sword is it? It's different from the kinds of swords I thought the people in the Empire used, though. It's an Eastern style of saber called Itachi. Any way you slice it, though, it's basically a longsword. <sighs> wow, that's one beautiful blade. The craftsmanship looks exceptional. They're renowned for the layering of their steel and the sharpness of their edge. Truth be told, though, I'm still a little hesitant to be swinging around something this dangerous. Seriously? If that's what hesitant looks like, I'll bet confidence will make you unstoppable. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. Speaking of which, I think we've been standing around long enough. We should really be getting ourselves into trouble. I think I can manage that. You saw it yourselves. Trouble has a way of dropping in on me. Let's take it slow and steady, though. We need to adapt to each other's fighting styles to really gel as a team. Got it.
Yikes! A monster! Huh. Never seen this kind before. Ha! Looks like a flying feline. Careful, everyone. Enemies ahead! We'll have to fight! Safe for now. Please tell me there aren't more of those things lurking around here. I hate to tell you, but I can sense more further in. Anyway, let's just stay alert. My turn. Here we go. Oh, there seems to be a treasure chest here.
my turn. The wind's behind us. Let's go. Safe for now. It's my turn. I've got this. I'm starting to lose my sense of direction down here. Yeah. Gotta make sure we're not going in circles. My turn. Right. 
my turn. Take this! Thanks! My turn! Ha! My turn! My turn. Okay, I was just so relieved the fight was over. The strength kind of just left my legs. I'm amazed how calm you two are. You don't seem tired or worried or anything. I guess I'm just used to fighting monsters like these. You need a hand? N no, I'll be fine. It was just a momentary lapse on my part. I can get up, and there we go. Look out! Elliot! Huh? Looks like I made it just in time. Thank Adios for that. Oh, it's you! You said your name was Machius, right? That's right. to realize that I shouldn't have just stormed off like I did. I let that arrogant noble goad me into losing my composure, acting on impulse. So I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I acted foolishly and I hope you can forgive me for it. A sweat, water under the bridge. Yeah, we all have moments when we say or do things we regret. That's human nature for you. Oh, and thanks for saving me, by the way. I'm just glad I happened to be passing by. After I'd cooled my head, I decided to retrace my steps, and there you were. Is it just the three of you here? Yeah, we stood around talking for a while, so the others are probably ahead of us at this point. I don't think there's any reason to go back any farther. I can't imagine you'll find anyone there. I see. Uh, I... I don't suppose you'd mind if I came with you, would you? I'm reasonably skilled with a gun, so you might find it useful having me along. Sure thing. 
Welcome aboard. The name's Reen Schwarzer. I'm Elliot Craig. It's nice to meet you. My name is Guy Warzel. It's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine, I assure you. My name is Machius Regnitz. Could... Could I ask you what social class you each belong to? I realize how that must sound, uh, considering my recent outburst. But please, don't take it personally. I'm simply curious to know who I'm associating with. Um, well, both of my parents are commoners. Likewise. Though my homeland has no class system to begin with. Ah, so you're from abroad then? What about you, Reem? Well... Let's just say I haven't got a drop of noble blood in my veins. So I guess we're all in equal standing here. Well, now that's a relief. We should probably get moving then. Somewhat concerned about the girls, as you might imagine. I'd feel much better if we were around to help if they wound up in danger. Yeah, I suppose there's strength in numbers. All right, let's go. like this even doing on the school grounds. Yeah, who puts a giant trap door in a campus building? My turn. Watch out, guys. It's 
my turn. Let's keep going. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Nice. the eight leaves. We're unbeatable. to me.
It's my turn! are hanging in there. Huh. I'm glad the four of you are unharmed as well. Well, it seems you've cooled your head a bit at least. <sighs> yes, I've calmed down now. At any rate, I don't believe I've introduced myself yet, have I? Arsade from the town of the Graham. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Huh. The Graham? That's down on the southeastern outskirts of the Empire, isn't it? Correct. It's an old castle town on the shores of Lake Ebel. We're connected to the rest of the country by train, but other than that, it's a fairly remote region. Hmm. That name sounds so familiar. Wait. So your father would be... Yes, my father is Viscount Arsade, Lord of Lagram. Do you take issue with that? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Machias, was it? I can only speak for myself, but I don't feel I've ever done anything to bring shame upon myself in Adios's eyes. And I fully believe the same to be true of my father. Uh, please, I meant no offense. I'm sorry if... If I, uh... Say, I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Emma Milstein. Like Laura, I come from a distant region of the Empire. I was only able to attend Thor's thanks to a scholarship, in fact. It's very nice to meet you. A scholarship? Hmm, indeed. Now that you mention it, our instructor did say yours was the top score on the entrance exam. <sighs> I think I was outdone then. By a girl, no less. <laughs> you must be quite the prodigy. <laughs> Maybe it seems like it now, but really, I'm not. I don't have any training in the martial arts either, so this is the weapon they recommended for me. Oh, cool! You got an orbital staff too! Yours looks different from mine, though. Huh, so it does. I wonder if it's just cosmetic. Huh. Hmm? Is something the matter? We're all acquainted now. It's only proper that you introduce yourself. Huh? 
what's it like living there? There's probably a new technological breakthrough every week. The Rhineford Company is based in Ruhr, and they're the largest heavy industry corporation on the continent, aren't they? I suppose they are. Uh, so, hey. I guess that bow must have been in that case you had with you when we first met, right? I've never seen one like it. Is there some kind of orbital mechanism built in? There is, but I don't see how that's any of your business. Ouch. Um, yeah. Anyone got any ideas on what to do now? We've all run into each other wandering around. How about we stick together? I think that would be for the best. It's not safe for a group of girls to travel alone. You may require protect- You needn't to be concerned about that. I beg your pardon? I don't mean to boast, but I'm confident my swordsmanship will be more than sufficient to protect us. For now, I think it's best to remain in separate groups. There are still two of us who remain unaccounted for. That's right. We still haven't run into that silver here. In that case, two teams means double the chance to find them. Two teams is double the coverage, and double the chance of crossing paths with our missing companions. How's that sound? I have no objections. So then, shall we be off? All right. We'll see the four of you later then. <sighs> she really doesn't seem like she's gonna let that go, does she? It was clearly an accident, everyone could see that, but I don't suppose it makes any difference to her. Still, is no one else worried about leaving a group of girls to fend for themselves in a place like this? There are four of us here, perhaps one of us should go follow them. I don't think we have anything to worry about as long as Laura is with them. She really wears her skill on her sleeve. I doubt she drags around a sword that big just for show. It's certainly an enormous blade. I'd call it comically huge if it didn't look so dangerous. But at the end of the day, a lady is a lady. She's taller and sturdier than I am. Though I admit it's still hard to believe anyone could swing that beast of a sword. I'll bet she can whip it around without breaking a sweat. The Arside School of Swordsmanship serves as a general basis for the techniques used by knights throughout the Empire. And her father, the Viscount, is arguably the strongest swordsman in the country. People call him the Radiant Blade Master. I doubt any of the other students here could even stand their ground against her in combat, much less beat her. Wow. Interesting. I didn't know there were still roots of the old knightly styles alive in the Empire. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Reen hobby of yours? I'm a swordsman myself. I guess the lore sort of comes with the territory. At any rate, how about we pick up the search? I'm worried about that silver-haired girl, and we still need to track down Duke Alborea's son, too. That's true. <laughs> I couldn't care less what happens to that pompous ass. He can rot down here. <laughs> Come on now, that's no way to treat someone you just met. like the path splits. Which way do you think we should go? I feel a little wind blowing from the east. I bet the exit's that way. Hm. Leave it to me. Right! Eat that! The wind's behind us. Let's go! to me.
right. Eat that. My turn. Here we go. Okay, it's safe for now. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. My turn. Marcus, activate. Leave it to me. Marcus, activate. What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's... <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Oh. It's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you're all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Oh yeah, Fee Classel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. Later. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. What just happened? Wow. She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah. Now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. E 
Eat that! Huh. Eat that! Here we go! My turn! <laughs> Winds, give us your blessing. Go! Arcus, activate. My turn. All right. Take this. Eat that! Right! Yeah. It's my turn. <laughs> Together, we're unbeatable. A plus outcome. <laughs>